So we'll move on to our next item, 6.6, .6, a presentation of proclamation recognizing May 2022 as California Tourism Month in Lake County, and then B, consideration of report from the Lake County Tourism Improvement District on its activities over the past year. And first and foremost, Supervisor Pisco will read the proclamation. So recognizing May 2022 as California Tourism Month, whereas tourism <laughs> plays a critical role in Lake County and the state's economic prosperity. And whereas a robust travel industry provides significant economic benefits for the entire state, generating more than $144 billion in visitor spending in 2019. Travel has been the foundation of a healthy workforce, serving as one of the largest private sector employers in California, supporting 1.2 million jobs in 2019. And whereas spending by travelers benefits state and local governments alike, generating $12.2 billion in tax revenue in 2019 to support essential public services and programs that benefit all Californians. The COVID-19 pandemic devastated every sector of the travel industry with staggering economic impacts affecting every community in California, including Lake County. And whereas California lost $79.8 billion in visitor spending in 2020, a 55% decline from the previous year and lost $6.1 billion in local and state revenue a 50% drop. Nearly 1 million Californians traveling in, 1 million, nearly 1 million Californians working in travel and hospitality lost their jobs in the first month of the pandemic. And the employment sector remains by far the hardest hit in California. And whereas in 2020, Lake County lost $47 million in, in travel-generated spending, tax receipts, and employment. The statewide tourism sector began its recovery in 2021, but remains well short of the 2019 levels in employment, visitor spending, and taxes generated. And whereas Lake County saw travel-generated spending tax receipts and employment returned to 2019 levels. California legislature in 2016 declared every May as California Tourism Month to celebrate the positive economic impact of the tourism in California. And whereas Californians can help put their fellow Californians back to work and support the recovery of local businesses by traveling in California. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Supervisors of Lake County does hereby proclaim May 2020 as Tourism Month in Lake County and urge the residents of Lake County to join me in recognizing the critical role this industry plays in, Cal in, in Lake County. Passed and adopted this 17th day of May 2020. Thank you very much. Um, so we now have a presentation for our uh, 2021 um, update to bring you guys up to date on where we are. And I think we'll just dive right in. We're trying to be respectful. Oh, we get a picture. Yeah. Where's the picture coming from? Oh, Sam. Sam yeah. Thank you, Sam. Did, did you miss the last three proclamations? <laughs> <laughs> no. This way, this way. There we go. And Brian, you can, okay, so you guys, if you would like, you can come sit up here. That way you don't have to, yeah. Sit up there? Yeah. I mean, unless you want to stand, and you know, that's fine too. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay, it's up to you. I just wasn't sure where I was going to be looking. Um, so thank you for having us, supervisors. Really appreciate it. What a difference a year makes. Um, last year was 
coming from a little different spot than we are this year, but we're kind of happy to be coming from this spot. So we look forward to kind of letting you know what we've done in 2021, and we'll give you a little bit of an outlook on 2022 for uh, Lake County's tourism. Um, jumping right in, slide number two. Um, just to update you on the board, uh, we've had a few updates to the board, a few new folks up there. Uh, our new chair is Christy White. Uh, she's a short-term rental owner in Kelseyville. Larry uh, Galupe is also on the board. He is our Emetri he is Chairman Emetrius. Uh, Larry did an amazing job over the last couple of years from the very beginning as chair. Uh, we want to thank him for his time as chair. He's amazing. And he's down there running Twin Pine uh, Hotel Operations and doing a great job. Uh, Lynn Butcher, uh, right over here, is treasurer. Uh, she's also owner of the Tallman Hotel. Uh, Mary Ann Schmidt has stayed on our board after selling the lodge at Blue Lake. She is obviously the vice chair of One Team, One Dream. Wilda Schock, major contributor. Wilda, we couldn't do it without her. She's the eyes and the ears and the, the background. She tells us everything that's going on. She's excellent. Um, Alan over in Clear Lake brings a great uh, perspective to everything. Jaime from uh, Robinson Rancheria. Uh, Susan Parker, our interim uh, CAO, we want to thank her. She doesn't have enough going on, so she sits on our board too. <laughs> but uh, Priya uh, Diaz, uh, owner of the Skylark Shores Resort, putting a lot of money into the Skylark Shores Resort. Priya is right now. She does a great job. She's a good insight. Jitu at the Anchorage Inn. Uh, Vikish uh, from the Super 8 Motel up in Upper Lake, and David, another STR short-term rental owner in Clear Lake, uh, a good contributor and a small tech guy, so we really appreciate um, our board. Um, diving right in, let's look at the financials. Um, that's really uh, where I'm going to turn it over to Lynn Butcher, who's our treasurer, and let her tell you a little bit about the numbers. So, first of all, more than 90% of our money comes directly from visitors to Lake County who spend the night. Can you talk closer to the mic? Oh, sorry. More than 90% of our money comes from visitors who spend the night in Lake County and pay TOT or the TID assessment. Uh, the county and the city of Clear Lake and city of Lakeport collect that money for us and remit it to us. Um, so last year we collected 463,000. Of that, uh, about 200,000 came from the TID uh, collected by the county. Um, because of COVID, administrative issues, et cetera, that is more than what we expect this year. So some of the money that came in last year, maybe 40,000 of that was actually from the year before. So uh, this year we would expect a little bit less, unless somehow, even though the lake is low, we increase our uh, overnight stays in the county, which obviously we hope we do. Um, the county of Lake, um, out of TOT proceeds, paid us 117,000 last year. The commitment is for 78,000, so again, just delays in terms of receipts. Um, obviously, we hope as TOT goes up, uh, due to our efforts in marketing, promoting the county, and really focusing on that effort, uh, we would hope that might go up as TOT goes up. Um, City of Clear Lake pays us monthly. They're super reliable, super organized. Alan, <laughs> Alan seems to uh, make sure we get our money regularly um, on time. And that was about uh, $76,000. City of Lakeport, we got a little less than $40,000. Again, I think that's probably not an accurate number for revenues in 2021. Um, might be a little less next year. Middletown uh, Tribal Council uh, voluntarily gives, has given us 20000 a year. Um, and this year, we were delighted that they co-sponsored a billboard in San Francisco. Uh, you'll see that in next year's annual report, but they paid 25000 for us to be able to put another billboard in San Francisco. Um, the little green slot, um, which Brian couldn't fit on the chart, is Robinson Rancheria. <laughs> And um, we got about 8,000 from them, and they are collecting it as if they were charging 1.5% on their room stays. Um, we're very pleased. Um, I, think our, our, I think everyone's happy with what we're doing. Uh, Brian will tell you more about that. Uh, but we do expect revenue will decline this year. We, it, it could be as low as 375 or 390,000 this year, uh, based on actuals this year. Last year. <laughs> Perfect. So um, Jessica Paiska mentioned the economic impact of Lake County travel. Um, you'll see that bar chart there. 
Uh, this is data from uh, Paul Runyon and Associates, which Visit California has contracted with for the last two decades. Um, they use uh, both tax and um, uh, a lot of tax data and um, mobility data to try to, to, to assess the impact. You'll see the massive drop in 2020 that we experienced, as did the entire state. And you'll see that we've climbed really nicely back up in 2021 to almost 2019 levels. Uh, so 175 million, and that includes, uh, actually, <clears throat> the general rule of thumb is for every dollar somebody spends in a hotel, they'll spend $3 in your community, whether it be in food service, entertainment, um, groceries, gas. Uh, so the economic impact goes well beyond just a stakeholder with a hotel. And um, we're, we're happy with that. The employment number is just over 1,000 in Lake County. Um, and that, again, includes everybody in that workforce there. And Lake, Lake County, state, and local tax revenue is a little over $13 million with all of those combined. So that traveler, uh, that visitor to Lake County is a very important person uh, to bring into the county. And um, our share, um, we really pale, <laughs> we're really small in um, our share. We have a rural region, which is Mendocino, Lake, uh, Humboldt, and Del Norte. And, uh, between Humboldt and Mendocino County, they represent both about $400 million each in economic impact. So it kind of gives you an idea of where we stand there. We are almost, we're neck and neck with Del Norte, which is that teeny little adorable county up there on the very top. But, you know, we're damned if we're not going to get more of this. We're, we're going to keep going for it. So our share there, as you can see, is slightly over 15% of that total economic spending. So there's lots of room for us to grow here in Lake County. Um, let's dive in a little bit, uh, talk about so what's happened, um, next slide please, on the uh, website. We're really proud of our website. Uh, you'll see our page views increased in 2021 by 56% to 414,000 page views. Our new users, people brought into the site who'd never been there before, increased by 79, almost 80% to 201,000. So we're introducing a lot of new people to Lake County. And the average time spent increased 7%. So they're spending about a minute and a half on our website. Uh, top pages are campgrounds and RVs, lodges and cabins, uh, our homepage, outdoor recreation, and doggone if it isn't a blog on the Blue Lakes. People love to read about the Blue Lakes. So we're, we're happy of that, and we actually have a new one coming out soon. Uh, top cities is really, really positive. San Francisco, Sacramento, San Jose, Clear Lake, Los Angeles, Lakeport, Santa Rosa, Roseville, Modesto. Those are key markets for us. They're drive markets. We know we're a drive destination, and um, we're happy to have those cities as our top uh, cities in, on our website. So the next slide, please, is organic, organic social. So organic social is what Karen Pavoni does. She does an amazing job with social. Our Facebook followers are up last year 9% to 33,300. Uh, that was over uh, after a 120% increase in 2020. So probably more in line how we're going to be able to grow this. And we passed the, the 4,000 mark on uh, Instagram, which we're really happy about. And again, our top cities are cities that we really want to draw into the county. Karen's done an amazing job photographing and telling the story of Lake County. It's beautiful stuff. We get lots of shares. Visit California shares with us. We really are proud of our social. Our social, organic social is good. It's a tough one to get right. And I see that all across um, destinations, how, you know, I mean, I guess I could say it. I mean, how many people can you see cheering wine glasses in Napa? I mean, it's just over and over and over and over. And it's like, okay, that's great, but is that it? So we're really proud of our organic social. It works really well for us, and we're going to keep the pedal to the metal on that. Uh, monthly blog and newsletter. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, we increased our contacts by over 14%. Uh, it's, a, it's an original uh, blog that goes out. We have a lead blog piece, two, uh, two lesser blog pieces uh, that we suggest a place to stay uh, as well. Uh, average open is 18%. Industry average is a little higher than that. But we do really well. We get a lot of clicks out of it. We get a lot of traffic. People spend a ton of time. People coming from our e-newsletter will spend eight minutes on our website. So they're really curious about what's going on. And uh, just to prime you, our next our blog post going out this month, lead blog post, is an update on the Blue Lakes. <laughs> Can't get enough of those Blue Lakes. Uh, so the newsletter is something we're going to continue with. Uh, we're happy and 
uh, it keeps cranking along. And there's probably a lot more we can do with it. Now that we're kind of in, hitting our stride, we'll keep looking and figuring out ways to, to get it even better. Uh, next slide, please, is paid search. Super boring stuff, but look at that. 1.3 million impressions, 86,000 clicks to our website, which was an enormous increase because we weren't doing this in 2020. So the numbers are kind of, uh, the, the statistical increases are a little bit warped by the fact that we weren't doing a lot of it. CTR though, boom, look at that, 6.4%. Average CTR for in, in, in our category is just 1%. So what we're putting out there, people are interested in and they're looking at it. Um, kind of esoteric, people say, well, what are your search terms? Well, there you are, hotel in California, camping in California. So if somebody, search, somebody, somebody types in hotels in California and they're in one of our zip codes, they're one of our destinations that we've identified, our ads get delivered up. They're text ads and sometimes they're, they're actually display ads. So um, the ad groups are where you buy whole groups of what people do, camping and RV and lodging. So we buy into those groups and these, we buy into hundreds of these groups, you guys. But this is just the top groups that really deliver the most traffic for us. So we'll continue to keep refining that and pushing it as well. Uh, paid social, um, next slide, thank you. So paid social is exactly that. We're buying ads on social media. And again, look at the impressions, 2.7 million impressions and 18% increase. We were doing a lot of paid social last year. Uh, clicks, 54,000. Again, another really nice number of traffic to the website. Uh, industry benchmark, we're beating it by over a percent. So we feel really good about our paid social. Uh, we talk about fishing, camping, um, hiking, um, all the stuff that we know that we do really well up here. We have all the beautiful photography for it. And um, we're gonna continue to, again, put the pedal to the metal on paid social. Print, uh, we brought you all a copy of the best of California. It's the Visit California uh, official travel guide. And uh, we have a very beautiful high profile ad in here. Uh, sorry. Well, it's pictured right here. So. Oh, it's pictured right there. There you go. Sorry about that. Exactly like nowhere else. Uh, we wanted, really wanted to play up the fact that we're kind of out of the way, uh, that we are a place that you can go be yourself. Uh, we have a, a two great models, local folks that we found. Um, and we always try to use local people in our advertising. We have the QR code, so we know when people come in off the ad. We get a lot of leads. People fill out the, um, the, the card in this magazine and at request more information, and that goes into helping us uh, our newsletter because that's what we send out. But uh, we're going to continue with most likely, print is a tough one. Print, this is a $36,000 ad, and in a budget where you saw we have 400 and <laughs> You know, something, it's like the numbers sometimes you're like, oh God, that's going to be good. Let's, you know, it's just, it, it's hard. You don't, you can't really get into it as much as you wish you could. But I do think given the profile of it with the state, with uh, Visit California, it's the right place for Lake County to be right now. It shows that we're on the map. Uh, so print. Uh, out of home, as you know, we, um, we reported to you last year, we we bought uh, four billboards, two in San Francisco and two in Sacramento. Um, over 12 million uh, positive impressions. Uh, I can't tell you how many friends of friends and kids of my friends that were uh, snapping pictures and sending to me. And people really look and they're really proud when they see a billboard and they know somebody in Lake County. It makes you feel really good. Uh, you can go to the next slide. We'll show you some of the creative. We two creative shifts last year. Uh, summer was uh, obviously clearly different, and then uh, fall moved into we put the country back in wine country. And that these billboards ran in San Francisco, right over Trader Joe's, right in the middle of San Francisco at Geary and Masonic. Uh, these two billboards ran in Sacramento. Uh, the summer board was obviously the the kids in the lake, uh, Blue Lakes. Uh, and then we used uh, another couple for we put the country back in wine country. So we're really happy with the outdoor. Outdoor is expensive. Uh, we geofence those boards, meaning anybody that goes by and has their phone uh, with their GPS on it, we can grab that GPS and then we serve them display banner ads for Lake County. And so we could see that kind of traffic coming back at us too. So there's, it's, a, it's a great way to do it. It's just kind of an expensive branding mechanism for us. So we'll be making some shifts on this. We actually have new billboards up, which we'll talk about next year. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, things are going really well with the billboards. We're happy with the creative and we're happy with the feedback on them. Uh, next, please. So what is new in 2022? 
Uh, we're pretty excited about the year. Uh, this is a great shoot that we did, again, a bunch of locals. Uh, we've got our visitors map, so we, everybody knows there's no more Destination Magazine, which um, was a beautiful magazine, but unfortunately it was an expensive venture and didn't make it very much out of the county. But the one thing that everybody said about that doggone magazine was the most useful part was the map. Every CTA, all the, anybody who had knew the magazine said, I just need a map. So what we did is we created a uh, Visit Lake County, uh, an official uh, visitor's map, which just came today. Um, it was tied up in a little bit of the supply chain, so we couldn't really get it printed until really little like last week. It's been a long journey for this map. But the most important thing, too, is that this is 100% ad supported. So all of the ads in here paid for this map. And that's the way it should be. Um, the crowd, uh, we've got Brassfield, the Tallman Hotel, we've got Mandala Springs, uh, Sweets on Main, Juicy's Pizza, uh, visit Kelseyville, the Mercantile, Robinson Rancheria, Bell Haven, uh, Clear Lake Campgrounds, Twin Pine Casino, Chase Water. So we've got a beautiful display of advertisers um, that show the map and all of the wineries are on the map. And then on the back, we've got 51 things to do in Lake County. Uh, so you can circle it if you're, somebody's asking where should we go, what should we do. Well, here's 51 things to do and um, we're going we're gonna to have it everywhere. But the most important thing is that 65,000 are going out of county. They're going to go up and down every I-5 corridor hotel and motel in a rack card system because we know we're a road trip destination. We need to be where people are road tripping. And so we're going to be in every one of those hotel lobbies and um, all the way from Redding to pretty much kind of like the Central Valley. We're not going down to Southern California. We're going to be in every, vis every California visitor center. So if somebody walks into a visitor center and we're going to be at the Sonoma Airport. I know it's kind of dumpy right now, but it won't be soon. But we're going to be in the Sonoma Airport. So we want to be where people are looking for places to go. So we're really happy with the map. And then 5,000 are going to be in Lake County. And um, so you'll see them around and we hope you'll use them. Uh, next slide, please. Um, okay, so the website. This is kind of a really big thing, uh, as much as it sounds kind of wonky. We're going to put a booking widget on our website. We're going to have it on three different places. So what's going to happen is somebody's going to be able to go to our website on the very home page, and they're going to be able to say, well, I'm thinking of going to Lake County, you know, May 27th, May 29th. Put the two dates in and search the inventory. And so we're going to have basically a booking engine for all of our inventory in Lake County on our website, on our homepage. It'll be, exist in three different places, but we're excited about that because it really puts that purchase one click away. It'll directly go to the booking engine of the Tallman Hotel, and then the Tallman Hotel can take that reservation. So it's moving the website from kind of this passive thing to something that's a bit more active. We have a dashboard on the booking engine, so we're gonna be able to see who's going where. We're gonna be able to give feedback to our stakeholders. Hey, this is working for these people. This isn't working for this. We're really gonna be able to tune into this because right now, um, you know, we're kind of a place to just go search. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna have a booking widget. We're really excited. It's in testing stage right now. Um, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. Let me tell you, um, when you start looking, I mean, all of a sudden your inventory just gets put right in front of you, and boy, that's kind of an eye-opener. So, just saying. Uh, next, next, <laughs> next slide, please. Uh, North of Ordinary. Uh, so, North of Ordinary is the rural uh, group that we're part of by Visit California. It's Del Norte, Humboldt, Mendocino, and Lake. And we have a really good group of people. I can call on those guys all the time. I talk to Visit Mendo whenever I have questions. They're so far ahead of us. They've got so many more things going and they're really a good sounding board. So there's like, we're like a consulting group for each other. It's excellent. It's huge for us. And um, we're going to go, we're all, we've bought one booth for the four of us uh, this coming weekend down at the largest travel show in San Francisco. So Lake County is going to be at the Travel and Adventure Show uh, this weekend. Uh, we're going to do a booth giveaway. Thank you, Lynn Butcher, for the two nights at the Tallman and the $50 gift card. So we're going to be collecting tons of emails from these people. Um, and we also produced this big 7 by 3 retractable trade show banner, which you can see there. We're pretty proud of it. Um, I'll be passing out maps, and um, we're going to do the trade show thing. We haven't been to a trade show in a long time. And we think this is the right show for us. This is an expensive show to go to. There's no way we would have gone on our own. So I'm really happy that we kind of, as a group, said this is the kind of a, a, a priority for us. So North of Ordinary coming up here. And then, next slide, please. Um, STR, we know that 
we really need to kind of lean into this, folks. We really need to lean into getting our STRs in compliance. Uh, it's the fastest growing. It's the fastest growing category of uh, lodging in Lake County, and, and it is in most places. Um, Airbnb and VRBO are two of the hottest companies. It's the way everybody is staying now, and we're seeing it all over the place. And we need to get them all in compliance. We need them paying TOT TID. And so Patrick has been excellent. Sullivan. Uh, working with him. Susan has helped a ton. We really want to make this happen. We really want to get the message out to people that it's, um, it's important you pay your, your fair share, as the rest of us do, because we're putting people in here. We're bringing people into the county for you. Uh, you have to contribute. So we're going to keep leaning into that really hard in 2022. Uh, and last but not least, believe it or not, we have to renew the district. Yes, we are four years old, but we only have a five-year sunset on our district. So our district will expire if we do nothing next January or next December 2023, which we don't want it to do. Um, so it's a lot. We have to really we have to go through the exact same thing we did four years ago. Uh, you could only create a district the very first time you create it for four year for five years. We will be able to create the second renewal district for ten, which we're going to do. Uh, but it's going to take a lot of work. We've got to go back to every one of our stakeholders. It's a weighted vote. Uh, whoever the, It's based upon how much they're paying TOT. We've got to make sure we've got all of them uh, in agreement. We've got to get a 51%. We've got to come before you folks. I believe a couple of times we've got to go before the two city councils. And it also costs a lot of money to renew it, which is another thing where it's like, oh my god, really? We have to spend money on just staying alive. But we do. That's just the way it is. But it was kind of like, ah! Um, so it's, a, it's about a $45,000 investment uh, to just renew this district. Uh, we've hired the Civitas Consulting Firm and we're going for it and you're going to be hearing more from us because uh, it's the only way we're going to get it done. We have to get it done quicker. The longer it goes, uh, the more it costs and we don't want that to happen. So we're really psyched about it, but we got to get it rolling. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, next slide, thank you for your support. We know it's, you know, there's, you guys get asked by everybody for everything. And so we just want to say thanks for your support, and uh, we hope we can count on your continued support. We feel like we're making a lot of progress. Any questions? Supervisor uh, Price. Well, I, I've been involved with the TID for years now, and I've really um, been able to witness the growth. I want to thank both of you for your dedication. Um, the numbers really speak for themselves, and getting it, you know, being able to present the social and all of the advertising numbers, that was something that just didn't happen a couple of short years ago. So thank you for all of that. Um, and the content is so beautiful, it sells itself. Um, so having the right people doing the right work right now is, is super key, and I think it's paying off. Um, and also to sell the diverse experiences that we have available to us for families, for singles, for you know, just about any type of groups. Um, we have something for everybody. And I, I'm hoping that you brought maps for us. I've got maps and magazines. <laughs> Armed and the map project has been a long time coming. I'm so, <laughs> oh I can't God. wait to have it in my hand. <laughs> um, but thank you for this uh, great report. I always look forward to it. And um, Thanks, everybody. I want, I'm sure there's some other questions here, but uh, you're, you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you very much, Supervisor Paiska. Supervisor Sabati. So um, I have a question about the, the lake port uh, percentage. You said it would go down. We haven't reached 2019 levels. Is that because of the issues potentially with the drought that may not um, be as big of a draw? Why would it go down? The numbers in 2021 were received Erratically, you know, everybody was so messed up by 2019 and everything. So, um, some of it is just that we got money in 2021 for money that should have been received in 2020, or we got money in 2020 that should have been received in 2019. Um, it, it's we Lakeport's one we haven't quite figured out yet. We're working with them, and they are working on it as well. Uh, Kevin is aware of some of the frustrations in trying to figure out, you know, we have to budget. I mean, and it's very hard to budget if we don't know what the real numbers are. And the same with, um, you know, some of the county money. Working with Patrick, um, we've looked at what TOT was and what we got. And again, we got some money in years that we should have gotten earlier. 
Um, there's also penalties, there's late payments, and I think COVID just messed everything up. I'm hoping we can, you know, fairly soon, maybe even in the next few months after we get TOT for um, a couple quarters this year, we'll be better able to assess what the real numbers are. And we do hope it'll still go up. I know we've had to raise our rates both due to costs and due to, you know, somewhat better occupancy. I know Brian's raised his rates. So as we raise rates, we we'll get some more money as long as we don't hit the occupancy. And I, I don't think we will. I think our rates in the county are very reasonable and people, I think, are willing to pay the higher rates. So that should help us get more money this year. Okay. And, and I appreciate what you said because uh, I was also recalling in the previous report last year where Lakeport was seemed abysmally small <laughs> in comparison to where it should be in comparison to the county and Clear Lake. So that might be where that percentage was a little higher this year than maybe it would be in the future years. Um, a couple question, uh, other questions. One, do you know the difference between those that are staying here that say are construction workers that are uh, working to tri uh, trim our trees or things like that versus those who are truly here as tourists? Is there a way to delineate and understand what those are? Just in case that when those projects go away, we see a dip? Right. You know, there, the, unfortunately, mm -hmm. Supervisor Sabatier, we do not have that kind of um, ground floor data on any of it. We consider any visitor to the county um, a visitor. We don't even really use the word tourist. We try to stay away from it, to be honest with you. Um, but we don't know. We would if we had a more sophisticated group of, well, there's software that you could use, but it'd be very expensive and it'd be very onerous, we think, for a lot of our stakeholders. Uh, star reports are pretty consistent in most, count most counties. And we tried at the very beginning to get a kind of a star report. We brought the company in, tried to encourage. It's, it's actually free, uh, but it was asking people for a lot of data that they didn't want to provide. So we kind of stumbled on that. Um, so we don't know. We actually talk amongst ourselves for sure. Um, Priya um, at Skylark, we talk about, you know, how many, how, how many folks do you have that are staying, uh, that are, you know, here for construction or not. And it, it just varies by season. I've got five actors in a movie staying with me right now. Are they tourists? Not really, but they're spending a ton of money while they're here. But um, Anyway, now I want to kind of also address one thing about Lakeport. Uh, there's, there's definitely compliance issues in Lakeport. We receive TOT from about seven properties in Lakeport. Um, and I've identified over two years ago over 30 Airbnbs that operate in the city limit of Lakeport. And I did provide that to Nick, and I've provided it to the city. And I just, you know, there's just, it's maybe not a priority, but compliance is an issue. When you've got people renting you know, homes for $800 a month on the lake and they're not paying their taxes, and I have to, it's like, you know, don't get me going there, but it's like everybody needs to pay their fair share. We're bringing people to Lake County and a lot of them are gonna stay in STRs. That's what's gonna happen. We haven't built any hotels. So let's get compliant on those folks. Let's get that up. And, and in the long run, it's not just about participate and join, but it's to also so that you can get pe more people to come back. Absolutely. And so it's a benefit for them to pay into this because it's, it's going to be a personal benefit to them as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And so my, my last question is, uh, I know throughout this whole TID, it's always been about heads and beds. And I didn't really see a statistic of heads and beds. Are we increasing our number of beds, uh, uh, are we seeing that? And are we also increasing our heads and beds? I saw the, the, the price and the money, but that doesn't always relate directly to number of beds or number of heads and beds. Well, and that kind of goes back to the question again about a star report, which would gotcha. literally be that data where we would say we would know what our occupancies by property, and then we would know by region, by town. Um, <clears throat> we just can't get there right now. Um, we know anecdotally, I mean, Lynn and I, who are running two properties, and we talk, obviously, Priya, Skylar, people's business is good. Business is good. A lot of people are coming to Lake County, and they're staying. Um, we're worried about the lake this season. It's kind of tough when you're a county called Lake and you're marketing the lake, but we're going to work on that. Here comes the blog on the Blue Lakes. <laughs> so um, I wish we had better data uh, uh, than we have to present to you for exactly numbers, but we look, at the, we look at our remittances and they're going up and we feel that's the right direction and we're just going to keep hammering at it. Love it. There certainly have been no additional beds added. I mean, like 
Brian said, I mean, it's not like there are a lot of new hotels on anybody's plans. I mean, there's some, but um, that's static. I would say occupancy, um, obviously over, you know, 19 and 20 has, you know, gone up. But 19 and 20, I mean, you're open, you're closed, you're, you know, you're whatever. So give us another year, and I think we can give you better information. Vice Chair Scott. Well, first, I'd like to thank the Tallman for last night. We had um, our oh. kickoff of our Wellville gathering. Mm -hmm. um, we have about 80 people that have come in from all across the United States, and their first impression was the Tallman and the Blue Wing last night, and they were just in awe. So that's what we need. We need people to come into Lake County and just really see who we are and, and excited about um, Lake County. So that was really neat, too. Well, thank you for bringing them to the Tallman. No, that was, that was great. So that was great last night. So they'll be here all week um, learning about Lake County, learning about um, each other, and ways we can help and support um, the communities. But back on track here, um, with tourism, I love the fact that we are not trying to compare ourselves with Napa or Sonoma. We're not Napa or Sonoma. We're not going to be Napa or Sonoma because we don't want to be that. So um, I love that we are um, pointing out that we are something different and, and come explore. So I, I love the marketing. It's just amazing how far we've come in the last couple years. Um, you know, just marketing Lake County. Um, I love the map. Um, come fall, I will be teaching a tourism and recreation <laughs> class. So I'll be using these documents and, and hope you can come in and, yeah, and well. help our students understand mm -hmm. how important tourism is for our community and for the United States. Because I think they don't fully understand. Um, I think they get frustrated when they have people come into the community not understanding that these people bring um, funds and jobs and um, trying to get the, the youth involved and try to get those um, get them out and working in our industry also so that's also important so thank you for the report I was going to say in terms of jobs um, we've had a few people who have been worked at the front desk of the Tallman and, and you know once you've got a year of front desk in a hotel you can work in any city in the world <laughs> almost any county in the world and we try and tell them it's really excellent training. It's hard work and we don't pay a lot, but um, if they want to stay in that industry, they've got a career ahead of them. So. Supervisor Simon? Yeah, um, obviously completely support this program from day one. I want to appreciate everybody who's worked on it throughout it and the board for supporting it. <clears throat> Telling our story, you know, you're starting to see it and it's starting to come together. I really appreciate that. And just as Tina said, we aren't Napa. We aren't you know, as far as I'm concerned, I've always just said, you know, who needs to go to Lake Tahoe? You have Lake, beautiful Lake County right here. And with these gas prices, we really need to be pushing that this year that, mm -hmm. you know, your short staycation is here in Lake County. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you guys are going down to San Francisco this weekend. I think that's a big part of that message that we push. But we have everything we need. I'm glad the conversation about building more hotels. We need to continue to do that, both at this level as projects come through in our cities and uh, any other business owners, because that's what we have. We have established the great agricultural industry. I think we're totally different. I think we also need to push on our marketing over Napa is most of our great vineyards that are here in Lake County, a lot of our uh, grapes end up in the wines that are you know down there in, in Napa. And I, we just need to keep pushing that. So uh, telling our story is one of the beautiful things that I think we just need to continue to do. So in complete support of this program. There is one thing that I um, have always envisioned, telling our story on all the hotels, having you know a, a channel that there's one video playing all of this from the TID, you know, hey, you're staying here in every, all the hotels, it's running in Twin Pines, it's running in one story. So when they're sitting in those rooms and they're flicking through the channels, we got our story hitting them right in the face while they're at night cooling down or whatever they're doing. Things to do in Lake County, that'd be great to have a video that just really shows everything all the way across the market. So I'm excited about the opportunity. Um, the one question I have, and, and maybe you guys have already done this, make sure everybody that has a website out there that it has the link or whatever, you guys already got that done with you know, linking is what that all the casinos, right? all you know, the hotels, all the ag, everywhere. Hot Springs. Just keep going. Yeah, perfect. Um, you know, so those are all great things. The marketing stuff is really cool. Um, and like I said, when I came on the board, telling our story, you know, there's so many negative stories out there about Lake County and uh, telling the story through things is what we need to do. So I appreciate the hard work and Thank you, we'll continue to support it. 
uh, throughout our growth period. And we all know it as business owners and other things to get people here. We got them coming every day. It's a beautiful scenic drive from the Bay Area, you know, over at Lake County, you know, coming over St. Helena. So just keep pushing. Where else two weeks ago can you get a snow cap Mount St. Helena mountain? And now we've got 80 degrees. You know what I mean? So it's beautiful. Uh, we know how beautiful it is, you know, from a tribal standpoint, been here for thousands of years. So uh, we'll just continue to tell that story. One day, hopefully, we'll have a cultural center and some other things that we continue to grow because I think there's a bunch of industry and opportunity there. So I'm, I, I'm excited about it. This is what I like doing, telling a story, <laughs> uh, pulling people in. And um, like I said, Larry Gluppe does a great job at our hotel. And uh, we need to do our job and build some more rooms. And we're working on those things. So uh, we do have some other projects coming up in South Lake County. I know there's a potential project for Six Sigma, mm -hmm. the glamping program, which, which I think is phenomenal for our area. Um, so I'm excited. I'll continue to support the program and thank you. keep moving. And Jessica, thank you for being the, you know, attending the meetings that help us move forward. So thank you. Thank you, Brian and Lynn. Appreciate that. And I look forward to the uh, ordinance revision as well that I see that uh, Patrick is looking to uh, update. I, I would like to, I've gotten some information from uh, some of the constituents in Clear Lake Oaks who are having struggles with some VRBOs and Airbnbs and whatnot. So um, this will be a good time to address some of those and ensure, Perfect. you know, what you just, you know, highlighted earlier in your report. So, yeah. Thank you. And you have us perfectly positioned for rage vacationing this summer. <laughs> we'll try revenge, to right. revenge vacation. That's we'll the, try not to right. do the rage crowd. Yeah. <laughs> no rages. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone from the public that would like to come up and say anything on behalf of this uh, item on the agenda? Come on up. Now, where is that place, Lake County? <laughs> 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 All right.